Hi there! Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I am Teacher M. Running. Today we are diving into the wonderful world of adjectives. You know, those words that describe things and make our sentences more colorful. Now, what are adjectives? You might ask. Well, they are words that describe or modify nouns. They add color, depth, and detail to our sentences. Making them more interesting and vivid. We'll learn about five different adjectives and how they make our language more interesting. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Our five adjectives are exhausted, fascinated, frustrated, impatient, impressed. Okay, so first up, exhausted. What does this mean? Exhausted means extremely tired. Have you ever felt extremely tired, like you just run a marathon? That's what being exhausted feels like. For example, after a long day of play outside, running around and having fun, you might feel exhausted. Your body and mind feel drained, and all you want to do is rest. So next time you are feeling extremely tired, you can say, "I'm exhausted." And you can imagine you had a long day at work, running around, meeting deadlines, and solving problems. By the end of it, you are beyond tired. You are exhausted. Your body feels heavy, and even the thought of lifting a finger seems impossible. That's the perfect time to use the word "exhausted" to describe how you feel. So next up. We have fascinated. This word means being extremely interesting in something. Have you ever been extremely interested by something that you couldn't look away? Maybe it's watching a captivating documentary or learning about a fascinating topics in school. You're extremely. When you are extremely interested and eager to learn more, that's what being fascinated feels like. Here is the example: When I visited the museum, I was fascinated by the ancient artifacts. That feeling of intense curiosity and interest—that's being fascinating. You have fascinated. So when you are completely absorbed in something and can't get enough, you can say, "I am fascinated." Now on to frustrated. Even had one of those days, well, everything seems to go wrong, and you just can't help up help, but. Fee irritated or angry, that's what being fascinated is all about. Maybe you are trying to solve a puzzle, but you just can't figure it out. You might start frustrated. That feeling of annoyance and ang anger, this frustration. For example, Jenny became frustrated when her phone keep. Losing signal, and also when your computer freezes right before you save your work, fascinating, isn't it? Moving on to impatient. These adjectives describe feeling uh, getting angrily, angry, easily. Imagine. 
you are waiting in a line for your favorite roller coaster, and it's taking forever to get to the front. You start tapping your foot and checking your watch, feeling impatient because you want your turn now. This impatience, my friends, that's impatience when you have to wait for something. Okay, here example: Mike became impatient when his computer took too long to load. Last, but definitely not least, we have impressed. Imagine you are watching a magic show and the magician pulls off an incredible trick that leaves you in awe. You can't help but admire and respect their skills. That feeling of causing someone to admire or respect is what it means to be impressed. For example, everyone was impressed by the chef's delicious cooking skills. So, and there you have it. Five adjectives. Explain with examples: exhausted, fascinated, frustrated, impatient, and impressed. Next time you are describing how you feel or what something is like, remember to spice up your sentences with these exciting, exciting words. So, five awesome adjectives explained in the simplest way possible. Now let's have some fun. With a little quick, there may be five V in the blanks, so you can read the sentence. First one is the audience was blank by the amazing dance performance. Okay, what will be in the blank? Okay, for number two, the puppy played all day and was blank by bedtime. Number three. The kids were blank by the colorful butterfly exhibit. Okay, if you need time, you can pause the video here. Okay, so let's jump into number four. He grew blank as he waited for his turn. Okay, so let's go to the last one, number five. Tom felt blank when he couldn't find his key. Okay, so. That's a wrap for today's lesson and on additives. We hope you learned something new and had fun along the way. Don't forget to fill in those blanks and share your sentences with us in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonderful world of words. So bye for now.